one so uh people have been telling me that i should also be recording like how i came to france and why i came to france uh so i decided to finally sit down and make a video so basically i moved to france uh in 2019 uh to study uh international affairs uh, in a very uh nice college uh and it is called sciences po so sciences po is basically a grand ecole institution which means it is well renowned institution of france and it means it actually translates into sciences politique which in english means political science and you know what is sciences wait this is what it is called so when you write it you can write it as sciences po but you actually uh speak it like sciences po because it is french and french is amazing and interesting language so this is uh this has many campuses actually uh but uh, the masters uh, courses are only available in paris so i was in paris for two years for my masters so how i got to know is basically uh, some of my friends uh from st stephen's college in university of delhi i did not know more about it because uh i was actually pursuing bachelor's in commerce so i had no idea about uh, political science and colleges which were offering some amazing political science courses and masters uh so i went on a trip uh, with my friends and uh, at that time i was actually working and my friends told me that you know what the kind of interests that you have align really well with political sciences and with international affairs uh i was like international affairs is that even a subject trust me i had no idea what is international affairs so when i got back from trip i'll show you what i got this this is basically international affairs uh bible i would say like for me it was the bible because i had no idea and it had everything that i had to know so it is one of the best sellers if i'm not wrong i mean for the uh subject so i got this and it is still with me and i got this i guess in 2018 uh and in 2019 i was uh, already pursuing it so it has everything it has uh, different topics starting from uh, uh world wars and uh, different theories and also uh, foreign policy international conflicts and different wars uh, also the most important element international trade and a little bit of international economics and business and how it happens it also tells you about so many other things uh, and also uh, very other important things so i i decided to go through it i mean i obviously did not read the whole book and trust me i haven't till now like in 5 years i haven't uh, still uh, read the whole book but it kind of gave me the idea that uh, what international affairs uh, was and uh, i got even more interested when i read about it i read a lot about money laundering and different kinds of economic crime that happen in the world like uh, panama papers and all that stuff and i was like oh my god this is super cool so i decided to apply for international economic policy which is one of the streams in uh, international affairs so i got in uh thing is that sciences po uh, it is ranked number 2 in the whole world for international affairs so my dad was like if you get it in this college i will allow you to go abroad otherwise no 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 i got in and then he was very impressed and he decided to send me abroad and then i enjoyed a lot i it was sciences po is more about experiencing pressure and uh managing deadlines and managing multitasking so it was an amazing journey um, i learned a lot about what you can do what you think you can't for example there were a lot of competitive things which i in the beginning i thought that i couldn't do but i had to do it i barely had any option so i did it uh i i did things like quantitative uh, economics uh, applied economics which i was always running from even when i took the masters by myself i did it uh and i think that when you are working when you are studying in a such a large international institution and you meet amazing international people who 
uh, and there are some amazing people who like to work in cooperation with you. Uh, you learn something from them. You make them learn something from yourself. So it is very nice, actually. I, I completely owe my masters to all my friends who helped me uh, knowing more and more uh, of economics uh, and international affairs because to me everything was very new i i had done a very little economics in my bachelor's but but uh, when i uh, moved to sciences po i got some real insights into uh, what happens in international politics as well uh, so yes i will definitely recommend uh, you to apply to sciences po if you are uh, a lot into politics and you love these discussions these healthy debates uh, i would definitely recommend you to apply to sciences po and if you want to know anything, uh, they have a lot of help desks uh, available, uh, even on Facebook. And then you can uh, just randomly call them, actually call the administrator and the admission committee to ask any questions that you have. But I would suggest you uh, take time, understand what the question is asking, especially when it comes to the motivation letter, because you really need to impress uh, the reader that how highly motivated you are to get into the course that you are applying for because that is the most important part so for this actually gmat or gre is optional it's not required but for me since i already had these exam scores i decided to give it because i was not from economics so i thought that maybe my chances of getting economic policy would be less so to prove my quantitative abilities i decided to uh, give my course uh, to give my scores both for GRE as well as GMAT. Uh, so I am sure it helped in one or the other way uh, during the selection. Uh, and also uh, the IELTS score is not compulsory uh, for applying to Sciences Po. It is only compulsory if you have not done your uh, higher secondary education in English. So say that if you have done your university uh, or your bachelor's in English, then you can just get a uh, letter from your uni uh, university which states that you completed all your courses in English then you're good to go okay so if you are looking for some similar universities then I would definitely uh, name two uh, one of them is uh, Hurti School of uh, Public Policy which is in Berlin uh, which is a really good college uh, for politics and public policy and uh, there is also uh, one in with the University of Chicago, which is called Harris School of Public Policy, which is also very nice. And uh, but that is in the US. And uh, uh, there is one more in UK, which is called School of African and Oriental Studies, which is SOAS, uh, which is really nice University of London. I got into this one as well, and uh, it will be more expensive than Sciences Po since it is located in London and it is very expensive. Uh, apart from that, uh, there are many other um, courses which are available at Sciences Po, uh, different streams basically. You have public policy, you have business going on, and you have uh, international public management, international environment, and uh, many other interesting courses. In it. So you can choose different concentrations, which are basically your specializations. You can choose uh, specializations which range from writing and journalism, to project management, to global economics, to intelligence, to so other many other things. So yeah, uh, you should go to the Sciences Po website and explore more. Uh, maybe you end up liking and you decide to apply. And just like I had this and I was in Sciences Po, maybe you see this video and you decide to apply and you end up there as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All the very best and if you need any help with any motivation letters just feel free to comment below this video. I will give you my contact and maybe we can get in touch. Bye bye.